Hey everybody, it's me, JTJ, and uh, today I'm going to be breaking down uh, the new Beavis and Butthead episodes of Season 2 so far. And uh, i like to start this video off by um, uh, mentioning that I did a review on this today, earlier today with Pragmatic Addict. And if you have not seen his video yet, please check it out. I will definitely have a link to it at the bottom of this video. Now let's get started. So, um, yeah. I want to first start off this video by talking about how uh, it looks like Beavis this season is going to be having a thing for old ladies. Like, I just feel like this is going to be a running gag all season with how... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, what, let's start off with the, the, um, the pole place lady. Uh, Beavis and Butthead are both interested in her giving them a lap dance. Uh, I mean, I think it was mutually both of them, but, uh, Beavis seemed more eager, if you catch my drift. I mean... This could be the future right here. Um, uh, <laughs> and then let's talk about uh, good old, or the one where Beavis poses in, as an old guy. I can't remember the name of that one. Sorry, people. Um, Beavis uh, basically disguises himself as an old dude, and this he ends up in a retirement home, and this old lady basically just kind of, um, comes on to him. I'm not gonna lie, between you guys and me, if I was gonna have an old lady come on to me, I guess I would probably pick that one, you know? Not that I do old ladies, just, uh, just as a heads up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about, uh, pole, pole, the polling place. Or pole place, whatever you call it. Uh, it's kind of funny that Beavis and Butthead um, <laughs> kind of <laughs> um, <laughs> mistake that place for a strip club because when you think about it, not to get political here, but it feels like democracy kind of became, <laughs> but kind of kind of became a strip club when you think about it. Just. I also want to talk about how Beavis and Butthead. I've been roasting this rapper for the last two episodes. Um, I don't know what their beef with him is. I never heard his music. I don't want to start a whole thing. Don't want it to get out of hand. I'm just saying it's just kind of funny they're roasting this guy. I mean, he has one of those faces that looks very roastable, you know? You catch my drift? But um, let's move on to a different subject now. Um... I also want to talk about how <laughs> Bill Gates in this video, <laughs> or uh, in the first episode with Buddha and all that. Uh, first off, I don't care for Bill Gates. I'm an Apple guy. I, I'm just going to state that right now. But uh, it's kind of funny that they're finally uh, taking a shot at Bill Gates. There's uh, other... More six, well, not more successful. Let me rephrase it. Other shows have uh, already ta taken their fair share of shots at Bill Gates. I mean, look at this South Park movie. You told us Windows 98 would be faster and more efficient with better access to the internet. It is faster, over five million. That was uh, that was my favorite shot at Bill Gates. I kind of wish I could have done that too. <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't come after me, Bill Gates. I'm cool. I just don't care for your computers. You're, you seem like a cool dude. No computers. I like how they're, uh, you know, sticking to the classic Beavis and Butthead see a butt. They have to laugh thing in this season. That's, that's pretty cool. Also, um... Here's a, another heads up, not to get all religious-y, but it's kind of interesting seeing Beavis meet Jesus again and all that. That just, just 
saying, you know. Anyway, let's talk about um Anderson's uh, little short talking about the war. <laughs> Seems like he's getting a little too Hank Hill this season because uh, <laughs> he was more obsessed with how the boat was painted more than he was, um, you know, trying to be a he he war hero, you know. He uh, could have been battling on the field, but instead he chooses to <laughs> fix the boat. <laughs> fix the painting, I guess, of the boat. I Between you and me, I think he was just trying to get out of getting shot and killed. <laughs> Dang it. Um, no, but I also like how in the last thing, you know, where they go hunting, <laughs> Mr. Anderson gets... Um, gets <laughs> sexually harassed by a deer. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, it might have been hinted at a little earlier in the episode. Also, let's talk about um, Butthead almost getting shot so many times in that episode. I mean, I, I, I'm not rooting for the guy to die. I mean, I'm just saying it would be hilarious to see... <laughs> Beavis, Butthead gets shot by the gun, you know? It's just kind of funny. Butthead's stupidity gets him killed. <laughs> or Beavis' stupidity gets Butthead killed. Um, there's literally... I mean, last season, both of them literally died in an episode. So it's not like you can't kill them and they won't come back. I mean, let's be honest, people. They're cartoons. Cartoons can't die. That's like a fact or something. I mean, it's not like the show is um, even worried about that continuity error with them dying. Because literally last season, they died. And even that was kind of funny. That They could have got away with Butthead getting shot, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to be too graphic. I don't. Again, I don't know. But, um... Before this video is over, I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. Uh, get, uh, which episode of King of the Hill do you see this character in? Yeah, I literally saw this guy and I'm like, I saw him on King of the Hill. I swear, I saw him on King of the Hill. It's like an Easter egg, you know? If you can fi find the episode where you see this guy on King of the Hill, I, I don't know. 10 points, I'll mention your name, you know? But uh, anyway, uh, till next time, stay tight.